The Slop Shop is finally here and we have a very special offer for you. What's that, Joe? What's that? Yes, great question. If you spend £50 or more here on the Sloppy Joe's Slop Shop, you will get a bespoke video message from me, from Joe McGraw, and from you as well, Ethan. Oh, and is that like saying hello in that, Joe? Yes, we'll say hello and we'll say pretty much whatever you want us to within reason. All you have to do is put who it's from, who it's to, whether it's for yourself or a gift, in the comment box at checkout. Put your email address in there as well, and we will make sure your bespoke video finds its way to you. So all the sloppers have to do, Drew, is spend 50 quid, and you'll pretty much just be a clown for them. How dare you. Welcome to the podcast for the sisters and bros. It will make you laugh from your head to your toes. Talking about their lives, from the highs to the lows. And the name of the title goes The Sloppy Joes. Welcome everyone to the Sloppy Joes podcast. Hello. Uh, another it's week, another sloptastic adventure. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. <laughs> right, so coming up in the show, we've got the 9 out of 10 club, which Ooh. will be Christmas themed. But Christmas I want to bring in December Joe's Christmas Bonanza. Ooh. This is a quiz I want to do with you, Gainsey. I Ethan. don't know about this. It's just a quiz to just keep us going. Well, it's starting just, with the quiz. It's not Drew versus Drew. It's oh, me. I know the question. It started out with a quiz. How did it end up and like this? End up with jizz. Ethan oh, so James. Ethan James, ladies and gentlemen. Oh yes. Hello. Hello. Good to be here. How are you? Oh yes. I'm feeling really good. Thank you. Nice really and full. Nice and full and full uh, of energy. Good. And also, before we carry on, just a big thank you to everyone who's bought merch so far. Obviously, you saw the the little uh, video at the start. But thank you very much. Uh, it's been like massive support. And also, we're going to be putting more and extra stuff on there. But if you haven't checked it out, go out and check the merch. There's a little discount on there for patrons as well so if you sign up to that you get extra content and you get the 10% off um, code as well but just thank you to everyone who's bought something so far um, and yeah keep, keep it up at the slop shop and if you do get yours please uh, send a little photo of yourself in it yeah but if you've got a top preferably like have pants on no brilliant either, no, no preference either way no Love worries it. right so what's this what have you brought to us here I'm bringing the Joe's Christmas Bonanza. Wait, it's are these are these leftover questions from your Wednesday night pub quiz that you didn't get around to doing? No, these are last year's Christmas pub quiz that I found and I thought, oh, Joe's Christmas Bonanza. <laughs> okay, great. Let's do it. Yeah. How have you been anyway? Yes. I've been Bye. very well. What do you mean? What? Been out and about, and not Yeah, not again. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. Is that, that's how you learned to speak when you were thirteen, isn't it? Nottingham. No, how do you say? How do you do a Nottingham accent? Nottingham. All right, mate. Love it. What, why were you? So you were in Nottingham? No. Yeah, but we're doing your bonanza, aren't we? No, this is a tease, isn't it? Later oh on, right, okay, yeah. On, so. so I went out with my for my cousin's thirtieth birthday. Oh yeah. Big three O. Big three O. Massive three O. Just the two of us. Um, <laughs> But that's how we would want it to be. So you and him, and he lives in Nottingham. He lives near Nottingham, yeah. Um, I'm not going to say exactly where it is, but it's... Just uh, give his address out. Well, it's not far from Codner. Codner? Should you ask? You do wonder, don't you? Some of these places made up. Mapperley, Codner, Hucknall, Kimberley. Do you know what I mean? Like, people live there. Losco, Langley Mill. I could oh, go the on, but I won't. too big. Um, Mattersea. Yeah, wow. wow. You know, but so I I drove there and I've never driven Congrats. this journey before. Yeah, after a I mean, couple of pints as well. Yeah, even couple better. Of you need a couple to settle you down, don't you? Um, like everyone used to say in the eighties, I drive better after three or four pints. <laughs> um, I literally used to have mates who would say stuff like that. Really? I drive better after after a few pints. Yeah, it settles you down a bit, doesn't it? Um, don't drink a drive. Who goes into the car like on edge? Apart from Ethan James. Ethan James, yeah. No, no, no. Um, Shit seems fun. But let me no. tell you, this is where the problem started. It was so it's about a two hour drive, okay? I get in the car. I've never never driven this journey or been a passenger on this journey. I've never done it before. I've only ever took the train. So I'm in the car, plug my phone into the sat nav little system. I love put, that, mate. I love when you feel they're comfortable. You yeah. Know. Are you ready? I've got my podcast playing. I've Stop got it. Chosen. Yeah, Stop Joe's playing. Um and I'm good to go. Then about three minutes after I leave the house, my phone loses all internet and service. I was like, that's weird. Yeah, but sometimes it happens, whatever, you refresh it. So it stayed, the, 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 the sat-nav stayed on. So I was like, okay, swipe airplane mode back off. Oh, it's still not coming on. Let me try that a few more times. Okay, still not coming you on. You pulled over, of course, obviously. Well, no, because you don't need to, you know, you're allowed to go on your phone when you're driving, famously. So 
but I'm like out the corner, I'm trying to airplane, unairplane yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And then by this point, I'm like s- south of Stockport a little bit. Nice. On a road I've never been on. And it's taking you nowhere in South Oxford. They don't take you the obvious way sometimes, they take you the way that has the least traffic because it's mm. Friday afternoon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm in a place I've never been before. And then I think, I'm going to have to turn my phone off and back on because that'll obviously fix it. Right. So then I pull over, turn my phone off, turn it back on, still no service, and now the map has gone as well. Oh, God. So now I'm by myself. I'm thinking, I don't know where I'm going. I don't know where I am. I don't know anything here. I saw a, an Asian woman and her son walking past me. And what does this mean? What? That's not like, it's not like a black cat. or like, It's not like some sort of look. No. <clears throat> An Asian woman was walking past me, and so it, it turns out her English, her English wasn't good enough to understand. Can I use your hotspot, please? Oh, you didn't. And, ask, and, well, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to street. do, Joe? What do you want me to do? Fucking guess Can my I way use to your Nottingham. Hotspot. I don't know if I'd ever go up to someone ever. I, well, I didn't Can know I what. Use your hotspot. What else would? What else should? He, you, should he I, once. He once took a girl's bobble. I watched that. He said, "Can I have your bobble and try to undo her hair for him." That happened. Yeah, that was in oh. that was in San Diego, wasn't it? Really? Yeah, it was, yeah, yeah. I didn't have any bobble. It was so hot. It yeah. was in what California. Was, what about her, the poor girl. Well, she, she, did she have a spare. No, she might have done. She didn't. Well, she wasn't. I don't know. Anyway, I just said, if you got a spare bobble, and she went, oh, you can have this one. Yeah. Okay, well, How did you approach this woman? Which one? The woman with the hot spot. Oh, so she's bringing her son home from school. He's running off into the distance. He's about six. She's shouting him, and I go, let me stop you there. So, this is going to sound really mad. My phone internet isn't working. Could I get onto your hotspot just quick enough to download the maps? And it became quickly obvious her English wasn't th- at that level yet, yeah. which is fine. Yeah. Not her problem. I'm She's the one who's fine. weird here. So I'm thinking, what do I do? I can't. I don't even know how to get home because I've had to pull yeah, off. Yeah, 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 yeah. So like, so I'm just going to have to wing it. Where, where where do you think you are? I think I'm somewhere near Man- uh, Manchester Airport. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't what know- gives it away the fucking place? Yeah. <laughs> the fact that I was on the runway going down to my car like that. Uh, yeah, so I'm- It's not looting airport. I'm, I'm, I'm on the hell. runway of Terminal 1 at Manchester <laughs> Airport, like I, Mr. I, Bean. I, fucking plane <laughs> coming in over me. No, I'm not on the runway, but there's a lot of signs from Manchester Airport nearby. So the thing, I'm just gonna have to get there. Like to Nottingham. So, so, but on my phone, so it doesn't it no longer has like the lines, but it's got the rough immediate area. Wow. So I could see roughly between where we are. It's, it goes like uh, Buxton, Bakewell, Matlock, and so if I can get to see signs for Buxton. So then I'm so then I'm going to Jesus. Buxton now. This is what it's like back in the day. This is what it's like back in the day. But you had an atlas or a, or a map in the car. We ain't yeah. got a map in the car anymore because no one needs it. Um, so then I'm, I, I, then I think, right, okay, I've got seen the sign for books and I'm back on the A6. So I've basically gone 30 minutes in the wrong direction oh, now. God. So it's, so then I pull over to a petrol station. Can I use your Wi-Fi? Sorry, mate, our Wi-Fi's down. Oh, so I'm just, I was just fucked. And then I got to Bakewell, whatever, Lovely Buxton, Bakewell, Bakewell, Matlock. Yeah, took me about three hours to get there, <laughs> which was annoying. You, have you got any form of communication with your cousin? He doesn't know where I am. Lizzie doesn't know where oh I am. Oh my God, lost For some sin. reason, just after I left Matt, uh, uh, Matlock, I'm, I'm near somewhere called like, I can't remember what it was called, like Whissington or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So my, my internet just comes back on. Oh, wow. So I rang my cousin and let him know when I was late and all that, but it was fine. Then we go out. Oh. Nottingham's Nottingham. really good, you know. I've heard a lot of good things about Nottingham. We went to the UK's only 48-lane bowling alley. The biggest what? in the country. You, you and your... <laughs> Just me and my cousin. You went bowling. Hit in the lanes. Really? So, yes. so, let me talk, have you eaten yet anything? Yes. Uh, Stan um, had lovingly made me a tuna crunch on a baguette that he'd made himself. You know, he makes bread, it's fantastic, he fantastic bread. He's not a baker, but he, he's a home baker and he makes really good bread. I'm not, yeah, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not I'm not a bricky, but I can build a wall. You know what I mean? Guy can ferment, put it that mm. way. He can. The guy knows his way around a sachet of yeast. So you've made, so you're scrambling that. Oh, I'm scrambling that. Oh. So we get, we get to the train, go down there. The, the bowling alley is fantastic. Are you, so uh, many lanes. Is it still one of those it, where you can wear your? Can you wear your own shoes? Wear your own shoes. You, that went out in COVID, I think. What happened? What happened there? I think people. The idea of wearing communal clothing became slightly unfashionable during so, the, a, a global pandemic. Was there a reason for it back in the day? I think because you don't want someone getting dog shit on the Vaseline lanes, do they? Mm. 
Do you know what I mean? And also people turning up with their cricket cleats. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Puncturing holes. The Vaseline lanes. Because they Vaseline the lanes a little bit, don't they? Yeah. Did they? Yeah, they're all, job is that? they're slightly greased. Oh, yeah. there's, there's a grease worker. Imagine Vaseline in a lane. I must take a... Oh. Yeah. Is that your mum's name, Elaine? Vaseline Elaine. <laughs> yeah, they, like how they Vaseline the toilets in the clubs you go to, so you can't... Oh, you can. <laughs> oh, you can. Um, <laughs> so we will go there, but it's it's two. So it's a 24 lane downstairs, 24 lanes upstairs. That sounds dangerous. It's incredible. Can any of the balls go over the side? No, it's it's like the stories on a on a on a house. Ah. It's not like a mezzanine with people bowling like, above you. It must be fucking loud. It's in very there. loud. It's fantastic. Those bangs. Yeah. So we uh, I did. For, so my record at bowling is 164. In fact, you know that I, I've lost a little bit of respect for you. <laughs> Ethan, what's, fine. Ethan, what's your record at bowling? <laughs> I don't have a clue. I don't have a I've lo- I can't tell yeah. you. Do. No, that's all right, that's all right. I've <laughs> Stan's record is 172. Oof. And it's his birthday, you got to let him And off. it's his birthday. I bowled the worst I've ever bowled in my oh. life. First time, 77. Mad. The third time was like 95. How I think many games I, have you got? Three games. All oh, right. I only broke 100 once. The worst I've ever bowled. And what about you, cousin? I think the vein, the, the lanes were slightly over Vaseline, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not one to blame, you know, a bitumen Someone for got my downfall. A who? A bitumen. <laughs> Who's that? Well, bitumen is a it's a sort of crude oil base, isn't it? And I'm uh, I'm assuming it was something. There was like too that. much of bitumen on the runway. Bitumen, yeah, yeah. How could the plane land when the oil is, when the, there's oil on the runway? It just slides straight off, wouldn't it? So that was my issue. Anyway, then we go to we go out after that. Go after that. Just a great night. We went to a place called Billy Bootleggers. Was Percy Picklebackers? <laughs> Some of the names of the places are fantastic. Billy so it's Boot called Billy Bootleggers, but it was called Percy Picklebackers. Wow. Yeah, and they do a lovely moonshine. Anyway, one thing led to another. One thing led to your mother. Ooh, sorry, mm. don't know why I said that. Please be. Uh, next thing we know, I'm like this, and I go, "Please pull over. I'm going to be sick." No, you don't, Joe. Get out of the taxi. Just like this, on the side. Near a, oh, I don't know, Near a, a nursery school? Yeah, but they're not like in, are they? Yeah, they're not in, it's at 2am. I was like, ugh, really? splashing all over my oh, jeans. God. Just sick, all and over And you're in jeans. a taxi, aren't you? You're in a taxi. I was in a taxi at that point. So, so, so what's your cousin saying? Has he, has he got a grip of the situation? Do you know what he did? He did a fantastic move. Because he said, I was going to come round and like, pat you on the back and see how you're doing. But he thought, if he gets out, the taxi driver might bolt. True. So he stayed in. He manned the fort. Yeah. And I just got ankles covered in sick. And so did you? Did you? Did you have anything to sort of sober you up a little bit? Oh yeah, we got home. We had a garlic pizza. You had a garlic pizza. So it's a pizza out. with pepperoni, mm. but and then under the cheese they put fresh garlic, not like Oof. garlic butter. That so sounds stinky. That it's stinking it bad. Stinky. So you got, had one of them. We what? shared one of them when we got in. You got in. You shared one. Of them. Yeah, we ordered it when we got in. I had it after I was sick. It was fantastic. It was crazy. Really good, good night. night. Do, you, do you get hangovers, or hangovers anymore when you wake up? Oh, I had a bit of a hangover, but not weirdly, not as bad. Do you know what it is? I don't ever go as ballistic as I used to. Yeah, do you know yeah, those yeah. nights where you're like, it's a, dra- it's a round and a shot, and then you're having this punch yeah. bowl, and someone's brought a fucking treasure chest full of sex on the beach. That stuff doesn't seem to happen as much when you're 30, does it? But it's a great night. Great night. And I get, the, yeah, I vomited, but... You know what I mean? It's still a laugh, wasn't it? We stop this wonderful podcast for a message by our sponsors. Mm. Hi, Joe. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? Now, Joe... Yeah, very very well, thank you. Joe, you've got luscious locks. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, I'm not blessed with such amazing hair. Mm. And that really got me down. Mm. And I think you've seen my journey with my hair, haven't you? We speak about it a lot. And it's something that I think, especially in the past was a big focus of your life, wasn't it? How do we get this right? How do we minimize this? How do we, you know, fingers crossed, bring things back to life? Yes. I don't hear you talking about it as much anymore. Because, I'll tell you why, it did get me down a lot. Other people were commenting quite mean online, being on the podcast and being on other social videos. People love to have a go at me. Bobby Charlton this, you know, know, when is he gonna just chop it all off? Who's that egg? I hate that egg. You see that a lot, don't we, on the comments? 
That was the past. Now, using sons.co.uk for the last six months, here's what I've seen, Joe. And I'll be, I'll be honest with you. I think this is a long process, yeah. but I am sticking with it. Yeah. I order sons.co.uk, you get your spray, mm -hmm. you get your uh, tablets, you get your vitamins, you get your shampoo. Yeah. You start taking them. The first thing I saw was that my hair, I'd go into the shower, yeah. And I'd be showering my hair and you'd just see just hairs just coming off uh, at a ridiculous rate. Yeah. The first thing Sons has done to me yeah. is it stopped that. That's good. That's crucial, isn't it? Yeah. Because before, you know, you can't drive forward unless you've stopped reversing. Do you know what I mean? Who, whose quote said that? Who said that? Socrates. Socrates. Uh, and so that's what it's done. And now, over time, I'm seeing gradually my hair get a little bit more thicker. Dense. Some part of my hair is growing out qu quicker as well after Ooh. haircuts. And I'm feeling more confident in myself. Looking great. And I'm here to tell you, Sloppers, if you do have some moments where you look in the mirror and you feel a bit upset and your self-esteem is a bit low, you're worried about your hair, sons.co.uk has some treatments for you. And guess what? November is Cyber Month. We're excited to bring to you a brand new code for you to get your treatment. What's the code I hear you ask? What's the code I say? Oh, well, the discount code is Sloppy Joe's 33. And that is for 33% off. That's a fantastic amount off. We should have said that toward the start. Of Probably. The of okay. A third off your treatments. Treatments can be found at sons.co.uk. I'll tell you which one I've got. Mm -hmm. The full works. Oof. It comes with, you've got your uh, vitamins, tablets, hair shampoo, which smells delicious, by the way. Some of those hand movements may not actually represent where those items are being applied. Vitamins, tablets. You don't put the tablets on the back of the head, you put them in your mouth. Same goes with the vitamins, okay. I'm very sorry, yes. And then you've got your sprays and you will be looking fabulous. Yeah. So make the most of Cyber Month here. The Sloppy Joes applaud you too, because one day, like we say, you'll be sitting here and I'll have the same hair, fingers crossed, as Joe Smith. Ta -da. T's and C's apply to that little quote at the end there. But please do, sons.co.uk, use Sloppy Joe's 33 as your discount code. Get it now. Becky was 30 over the weekend. Uh, so we're headed to, headed to Wales. Oh. And it was, it was a place what just was it? near Port Merion. Just the two of you. Plumai Famanta, uh, which is, this is where we were. Say that again. Plumai Famanta. Right. This is where we were in Wales. It was, it's known for, um, for roofing the world. Slate. Slates. They made slates. Yeah. Then the 80s happened. But it was known for roof in the world. Wow. And uh, fantastic roof on our house as well. It's got to be in it. So Take it's a lovely little town about 20 minutes from a place called Port Merion. Have you ever seen or heard of Port Merion? I've heard of it. Yeah. I don't think I've been. So Port Merion, from my knowledge, a guy back in the day had a lot of, who had a load of money. I have heard of this. Yes. Go on. Had a load of money and loved his wife. His wife oh tragically died, but she loved like the Mediterranean and Italy. Right. And think of like coastal towns. So what he did, this guy with all of his money, this is me just sort of riffing here. I think this is the story. He built what essentially is a mini Italy in the hills of Wales on the on the coast. Try and Google Port Merion for us now if you wouldn't mind. If yeah, you... I've seen it. It, sort of, it looks a bit phenomenal. like a sort of a Sorrento or a... Like almost like a Malfi Coast looking, Phenomenal. isn't it? So we drive there. Half was I, I'm driving uh, in the car with the dog. Keep driving everybody coming. mental and over that. Uh, mm -hmm. Look, look at it. Click on one of those photos there. It is gorgeous. Wow, go the one underneath it. Look, look, look. at that. It's phenomenal. And That's on a gorgeous, gorgeous day like it was, it was great. But guess what? Huh. No dogs allowed in Port Marion. You can't bring your dog in, and it's ten pounds to get Have in. Have you ever been to Italy? Yeah, dogs everywhere. Just fucking dogs everywhere. What man. about that? I told you in Spain didn't about uh, dogs, you know, you know, with the old women. What? Take them out. You train them. Stow. That was a thing that we talked about, didn't we, Ethan? Oh, yeah, we did talk about that. Joe, On the yeah. podcast? Yeah, yeah. Was I here? Yeah, you Was it? Yeah, 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 he was. Yeah, I think we said allegedly. Uh, yeah, we have to say allegedly. 
Christ. You can't say the whole dogs, you know, do that in Spain. I think it's more the women that we, the, the, the reputations might be telling. Oh, yeah, but you don't worry about the, 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 dog, the reputation the, of the dog. Some of the older ladies who like fucking love a, uh, love a cig and like a fucking sangria. They, uh, if they've got a little dog with them, you fucking watch out. Smell the breath on that dog. <laughs> oh, oh, God. No. Anyway, no dogs allowed. Christ. That's a shame. We, so I have to stay in the car. Oh, my God. What, you ma- just Becky and Buck? Were, Becky and Eve, she met up with Lennon and Daryl. They all went. So have the party with her. They all went in. Oh my god, the amount of people that told me no dogs are allowed. You're not gonna get me able to bring him in. I was like, fuck off. What like, inside where? No, like all the old people who were gonna go in would see me in the car park with Buck. And I, I went on a big walk with him like outside. Yeah. Everyone had everyone had the chance to tell oh. me. Oh, I was like, fuck Just off. grow up. Yeah. Who cares you absolute load of grasses? They're all annoyed because they can't bring their them. dogs into anymore. Yeah. Uh, you know I mean? That's why they got rid of the dogs, because as they do in the Mediterranean, we do in Port Marion. So we hired this old Chapel. And what was his name? <laughs> no, it wasn't his name. Uh, this old um, chap, did you say? And I know you've got problem with what problem with one of the guests. That I ain't was got there. a problem with any of the guests. You do. You Who do. was there? So wait a second. Guests. So guests. what did you and Becky? Me and Becky. No, just me and Becky. Slept ten. Okay. Me and Becky. Right. Daryl. That ma- yeah, fair enough. That makes sense. Lennon and Holly. Oh, you're the close friends. Brilliant. Yeah, you've known Neve, them for years. One of the best friends. Of course. Rob and Nat. Wonderful. Great. You've known them for years. You work with that's you it. work with Nat, and that was everyone. So wait a sec, you, say again. What's that one there? You, Becky. <coughs> uh, who was there? Who was there? What? What was that Stat- last one? Stat- <clears throat> Statman Dave was there. How, how has Statman Dave got an invite? I, I don't know what you were to say here, Jim. How has Statman Dave got an invite over us? Because Not be- I think when we were booking it, he was living with us. Right. And I think he might, there might be like a spare room and he got the invite. How has he got that? Because I think you know, you know how long, how we how well of, do you know Statman Dave? Where, well, he lived with me. No, well, that doesn't matter. <laughs> what would you would you want an invite? But I can't even fit one of you. Like there's only what a space for one. Well, there's a bed. There was a bed. So I could have shared it with Beck, with not Becky oh, with Lizzie. Oh, Jesus. I could have shared it with Becky, and you share a bed with Lizzie. No, like we always no, do. No, no, no. <laughs> shut up. Are you joking? So Statman Dave was there. Did I'm he have a double bed or a single bed? If you're honest. Yeah, he, he had a double bed. Huh. I don't, Can I'm you believe sorry. this, Ethan? Why didn't I don't know why he's so stunned. He it lived c- with us. Yeah, Becky but- likes him. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm joking, Becky likes you a lot. But you never invite us round to anything. It's that man Dave done. He did. We've been to his house twice. Doing it, isn't it, well, just helping him out, painting Oh, oh right, yeah. Isn't it Statman Dave such a good friend? He lets you paint his fucking house for him. You could have. He could be. You, you should be charging him for that. You let him stay at your house. Actually, wait, you didn't. You you charged him to stay at your house, and now he's making you paint his house. It sounds like yeah, a great friendship. Yeah, he came. Mate. Do you know what? He came. He came where? Yeah. And he enjoyed himself. Yeah, I bet he did. We did. I'd uh, have the... enjoyed myself. I'd have smoothed myself in Port Marion and let you lick it off me. We did. I think called the Becky Olympics. What was that? So it was Is a, this like it, Denise Lewis heptathlon for the uh, for the PC? What does that mean? What? What's Denise Lewis's that? What? Denise Lewis heptathlon. Has anyone got a coin? Because <laughs> <laughs> no. you can play one of the games now. Have you got a coin on you, Ethan? Oh, I might have one. Yeah, what you coin have. is it? Uh, like a pound. Can you believe coin. he's invited Statman Dave over either of us, Ethan? Oh, I just get a feeling, Joe. Some this might be the day of where you get betrayed. Becky Olympics is full of different games. Um, Games such as so you got like like party games like fun party games. But can can I have the coin please, Ethan? Because we'll play one now. Yeah. Do you want to play a game now? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, is this red microphone? Can it turn on? No. Uh, I can I wanna, turn it on. I want to. I want to because it a, a little bit of sound effect. All right. I'll, uh, give I'll us turn the, it on. on. Give us the give us the coin. Do you want to go with this first? I don't know what it is. Right. Yeah. So we did we did eight games over the evening to crown which team would win the Becky Olympics, and this yeah. was my favourite game of the entire night. This is a pound coin. I got I got that now. Now he's going to realise what I'm going to do with it. This pound coin needs to go up in your bum. You need to waddle over to the pint glass and drop it in perfectly. Do you want me to demonstrate? <laughs> Are the audio listeners so? Is it? We, you like, swing. yeah, well, you mentioned they're the audio listeners, so you know they exist. Yeah, so sorry, this isn't listeners. really for them, is it? Point, so there's a pint glass, so you get a pint glass. Yeah, is this are you, are you for real? Right yeah, now? this is for real. Right. You look, if this goes in, the roof will come off. <laughs> you get a pint glass, you leave it there. You, t- you normally you go about two meters that way. Yeah, right. So now, see your pound, right? Coin. Take your pants off then. No, no, you shove it up there like that. Yeah, can you see what does it look like? 
it looks like a um, someone from uh, what's it called? Oh dear. Looks right. good, doesn't it? Hey, hey, stop it! It looks like someone from the Muppets trying to chew a coin. So now you're about two meters away. What you got to do is you got to waddle over, yeah. and then drop the pound coin <laughs> into the pint glass. Go on, then. Eyes off! How are you going to get over it? Oh, you fuck! Wait! Oh God, this is an <laughs> scene. Oh God! There's a ramp here we there. go! Here we go! Look at this. Right, you're not far off now. Here we go! Oh, oh he's missed, missed it! Missed. He's missed it! Right, you have a go. Yeah, go on, then. I didn't think I'd like this, but it looked good. It looks good. Get it right up there, yeah? yeah? Right up there, and then clench your ass. Now, what you want to do, you want to take your time. Wait, so get over it, get over it. Let's go. Oh, you just... <laughs> Where did it go? Just went. Ethan, come and have a go. Oh, no, you're No, right. no, Ethan, get, no, in, on, get involved, I'm mate. not doing this. Ethan. Right. I'm controlling the sound. Ethan controlling the sound. Anyway, so, so, so that was so what, good. So what were some of the other games? So some of the other games were, like, so... So everyone had a toilet roll, Oof. and then they had uh, their drink. Anything that wasn't to do with the act or concept of And then you have to like, like z- 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 qu- quickly roll in your toilet roll, and get your pint closest to you, <laughs> neck that. Then there was the cereal box game. You ever tried that? We got to bend down and pick the cereal box up off the ground with your mouth. <laughs> you ever tried that? No. So you get a cereal box I empty. Get, I can completely get the game has already. To, you have to like put your hands behind your back. Yeah. And then every time someone does it, the cereal box gets smaller and smaller how does it get smaller because you rip a little bit off right insert an image of Daryl who won right he's the most flexible man on the team is he he's, he's unbelievable you never think so you, you'd be stunned um, and Daryl like was it a lovely weekend it was a lovely weekend should have come <laughs> what do you actually want to do it because I found it I found an unbelievable house yeah I'll do it an hour away right that we can do as like a uh, a sloppy joe's outing if you fancy it I'd love to is that my Dave coming or no, he doesn't have to come. No, I don't dis... I, I've got nothing... This You've is got nothing, beef with Statman Dave. I've got nothing against Let's Statman start Dave. This Let me just now. clear this up. Let's, I've got, got nothing against... Statman Dave. No. Just got, say it! I've got no... Why would I have beef with him? Why would I have beef with him? No. I've got no issues with Statman Dave. I've never met the boy. So you've got issues with him. I've met you. Let me tell you that much. Oh, yeah. Well, maybe, I've never, maybe I've never met the real you. Maybe that's the issue. Maybe that's the issue, actually. Um, it was beautiful. The, the, there was a, uh, a lovely walk. It was snowing. Oh. Um, but isn't the Welsh accent funny? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is a bit, yeah. It is, isn't it funny? Especially yeah. when they're speaking Welsh. I tried to learn a bit while I was over there. Got then. Isn't it funny? What have you got? Shamai. Which is Devil. hello. What? Uh, I'm sure that says thank you. Yeah. Shamai, is, is that hello? Yeah, that's all I got. You're doing really well there. Yeah. But isn't it funny? It is funny. You've heard a Welsh man speak Welsh. Yeah, it doesn't feel quite right, does it? Cause it's I feel like they're in... Do you know like when you hear... Uh, songs reversed yes because you know some accents like the Italian sort of French German to a certain extent it feels sort of like it's come from a similar place yeah they, they all have a certain sound to them but Welsh has almost got it almost feels like it's from a different continent to all yeah, the other yeah, languages yeah, yeah. it's quite exciting actually very exciting uh, and then I went to the AO Arena on Monday night to see my uncle put on one of his shows called The Fairy Tale of New York Oh. And it's a show, uh, and it's an Irish dancing sort of show with music and singing. And it's Flatley. about. Flatley? Flatley's not there. But that but style? Yeah, but it's got Irish dancing in it and the singing. And I. My downfall of the night, I got very drunk that night. It was right. gr- what, what fun. Was it, but not. And this isn't. I don't mean this in a bad way, obviously. You, usually when I think of the AO Arena, I'm thinking your Taylor Swifts, yeah, your Arctic yeah. Monkeys. Your, you know, Michael Barrymore's, maybe the nineties. Michael, the big boys. The big boys. Uh, your uncle doing a bit of Irish dancing doesn't scream no, twelve thousand tickets the, the, sold. The top bit was blocked off, so no one sat up there, and it's yeah. just the bottom half. So about four thousand people. That's, but that's a bit. lot though for a bit of dancing. Right. In the, in On a Saturday the, night. On Monday. Oh, okay, there you go. Uh, it was great fun. That's amazing though. That's very impressive. Yeah, very impressive. My my night. So your old uncle's a professional dancer. No, professional singer. He was singing? Yeah. He never said that. He's a great singer. Well, he better be yeah, filling out the AO. Yeah, great him. He's what? great. Uh, all the Irish songs, Go Away Girl and all that. Oh, yeah. No, no, never. You know, all the yeah. classics. Oh, Danny Boy. Yeah, oh, Danny Boy. Um, I bet there was not a dry eye in the oh, house, Oh, especially at the end when they did fair, they sing Fairytale in New York, which you hate. 
Oh, he it. did. I recommend it. I said, this should be going out now. You hate it. I don't you said they're glad they're both dead. You <laughs> hate it. He did, didn't he? Did he, Ethan? <sighs> he hates Ethan, it. Ethan, tell the truth once in your life. Did I say anything like that? I think he did. <laughs> right, he's so, he's so full of shit. No, Fairy to the New York is the last song. And also, wow. had, 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 um, had what? Had he just died that day? He died that day. And uh, so Fairytale New York being the final They're still song. looking for the roof, aren't they? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? They're still lo- they're, when that it came on... It was unbelievable. The MEM roof, the arena are fuming. Like, we're going to need a new roof. We're going to need a new... Well, off. we can't do it as an open-air venue. It's not the no. new camp. No. Do you know what I mean? The roof just was absolutely... They're look, still looking for it. The downfall of my night was uh, the arena selling two pints in the pa- two-pint cup. Uh, have, you ever, have, you ever, have you ever had one of them? Yeah. They're great. And for some reason, I was drinking it like it was just one pint. <laughs> and that was honestly That's how they my get downfall. You. Had a great day. Yeah. Too many Guinness after the show. So who went? You, Sam and Dave? No, Sam and Dave wasn't there. Well, he wasn't was there. Andy, my oh, best so mate. Not, oh, so you're not. I thought you could join Twins, you and Sam and Dave. No, no. Can't no, go anywhere no, with that no, these no, days. No. Uh, my cousin Dylan, uh, Kira, my sister, uh, Andy, my best mate. Um, and we were all just uh, I fell asleep in the Uber and lost my phone lost your phone yeah I lost my phone this, this is something, this is something so you I'm, said it was stolen to yeah, me yeah, yeah you told back. us it was stolen it's all Ethan I yeah but well, that's us isn't it I said it was stolen because at first I thought it was no you didn't yes I did did you think it was stolen or did you lie to when Ethan I text so you didn't Ethan, look like when an I text idiot? Ethan at, at that point I thought it's probably stolen because it was in Oldham <laughs> But Joe, means, Joe means no offence to the people of Oldham you aren't all thieves some Sorry. of you are just a taxi driver whose phone Joe left his phone in and he was very he was very kind very kind for man a thief. who came back yeah, for a thief you know I mean? as far as he thieves came back, go he came back and he dropped off his phone he dropped off my phone he dropped it but off I tell you what, did, did, you pay, did you give him a little yeah, reward no. what he was he, watching what did I you give him? him a thank you what if the ta- tax man was watching I gave him nothing classic I gave him 20 quid did you give him 20 quid did you give him a little? Yeah, yeah, and he was saying, if this was an down. Uber journey, it would have been 35 quid, and you were going, 20 to um, max, mate. Yeah, get away. He said, do you want the 20 quid or not? He went, I just want what's over. I had a day of bliss not going on my phone, though. How was that? Great. When's the last time you had a day off your phone, Ethan? Sure, he's, um, he's never on his phone. No, before. well, I've been struggling going on, I've been going on social media too much, so I've kind of tried to put a stop to it because I think I'm addicted I think we should do, we should do we do this every now and again it's like a little check up on Ethan mm. like, what, how's he eating how's his life yeah how are you doing at the minute how Ethan how are you Ethan oh yes um, I'm well I'm just like I said I do think that maybe I get hooked on my phone too much and it, it sometimes just takes away your days yeah. Um, and it's good to live in the real world sometimes. Is it? Because then I can bring stories to this, and otherwise, I have to talk about the possibility of having a social media addiction. Yeah. What? Uh, what's your screen time saying? Let's get it up. Uh, oh, so I so long, long get it up. So long on Safari. Him. Get yours up. Get yours up. Loves but, it. But I'm terrible in, in terms of like mess- messaging and things. It's disgusting. You should see like. I'm, I don't even want to have a look like texts 248 unread. That's just Facebook well, messages. That's just that, you being that lazy. Would in it. That you don't right, screen time, everyone. My daily average. <clears throat> Your daily average? Why have you got this? Where is it again? I can't I find just it. Just search screen time. I've got in 10 yet. things unread on Messenger. Fucking hell. It's horrible. My daily average. Oh my God. What's your daily average? Five hours, 37 minutes. My, mine must be skewed. Why? 55 minutes daily. Chuck it here. Slide it here. 81, it's, bit, it's, it's 81% down from last week. Okay, so, <coughs> wait. So how's that, how's that, wait, how do I... So how many is that, wait, right? So what? <laughs> Say that again. Uh, let me change my... Fif- I'm, I'm, what last was week, that? Last Fif- week was four hours and nine. Okay, there we go. Four hours and nine minutes. Mine's five hours, 37. Crikey! What's your most used app? Um, In the last week, it's YouTube. <gasps> but then I went on YouTube. TikTok. I spent six hours on TikTok last week. Wow. What did you do, Ethan? Oh, is this last week? Oh, well, yeah, just... I've gone last week because this week is... Oh, that's figures. disgusting. It's horrible. What is it? Well, a, a lot of it is... Oh, oh God. It, Go on. It says six hours, 20 minutes average per day, which was a, a 28% increase from the previous week. That's so more than us two. Well, this was a worrying week, I think. But like... Oh, like Twitter, 10 hours, 57 minutes. 10 hours on Twitter? Yeah. What are you doing? 
Well, that's why I'm you're trying to... You're not tweeting. To, I've, I've, I mean, I've, you're not fucking social media. Isn't? I've gone cold turkey on... Well, I'm trying to go cold turkey on it. That's my... Well, you've this also week's been, been better. You've been doing some other stuff as well, haven't you? You've been, you've been getting out. Have I? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Has, uh, Come on! Has fame gone to your head, Ethan? Oh, yes. Um, well, sorry, you surprised me there because I did talk about this on last Tuesday's episode, but yes, since then, the, the, uh, the little video of me on the telly's gone out. Oh, my. It's not little. It's, it's a, a great pa- video. It's a great package. You've got Ethan. What are those gates that you stood in front of? Oh, well... The, the the gates to St James's Park and I was a little bit um, not so happy with that because everybody else who's in all the Newcastle fans who invent, invent uh, interviewed for this little package got to stand outside normal little landmarks and I'm next to this massive oh, yeah. gate that can only make me look like a, a dwarf. You look you do look about three foot ten on that video because you got your long coat on as well which looks like you've got like. Do you know yeah, when you see like, like yeah, yeah, six, someone else is in it? Yeah, six chipmunks in a trench coat yeah, trying yeah, to buy yeah. like a, a porno on a cartoon. That was he looked a bit like that. But I, it was the most animated I've ever seen. <laughs> can you deliver your lines again? Can you remember? You're like, these are the gits and this. Uh, oh mate, can we put it? a little snippet in? Just or just of you. That'll be they'll be allowed, won't it? A snippet, yeah. Snippet Five of Ethan, snippet. acting go. If we keep going in the way we're going, if we stick by Eddie Howe and keep building around that philosophy, and who knows, in so many years with the backing that we've got. This could be a team that wins the Premier League. Is it acting, sorry? Or are you delivering it from the heart? Um, no, I think it was just... So basically what the setup was for this interview was that the interviewer was literally standing on the road and then, so between me and her from the gates where I was standing at, they were maybe like 20 foot apart. And there's quite a lot of background noise going on. So I felt, even though she told me to talk normally, <laughs> automatically in your brain, whilst you're communicating to somebody who's far away, yeah. you have to be a little bit more gestured, I felt, and shout a little bit more, even though I got told not to, but I just got caught up on it. And also, you'll see, you'll see at the start of the package, I'm told to stand up against the gate, and I couldn't hear her questions, so I kept standing a, a, a foot forward, and every time I'd done that, I started getting closer and closer to the road, so that time it was going very back. well. He did really well. well. He genuinely, you came across really well. I texted you, didn't I, when I saw it? Yeah, uh, you did. Because I kept an eye out, and you, I think you tweeted it. Did he reply? Thank you. He did reply. He said, thank you. I said, you came across really well in that. I was really proud of him. I thought he did really well. He did really well. He was well. good. Thank you. You Thank imagine you. if you become a Newcastle United star. You should. Yeah. You can. We can. Do you know on? Um, do you know on Men in Black? Do you Which know where one? the first Three. one? The first one. first one. Do you know where they rub that 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 guy dies and they rub his ear and there's that tiny little alien inside it? Yeah. And that alien come. Do you know what I mean? The, the, yeah. Do you know that little alien? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tsh, his face open. Tsh, tsh, tsh. If we do that with True Geordie, rub his ear and go. Tsh, 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 Smokes it, and then Ethan just comes out of him, yeah, and he's the new yeah. Newcastle YouTuber. Wow! Yeah, it, within True Geordie lives a tiny little Ethan. Oh, That'd be good, hell. wouldn't it? That'd be interesting. Worth, it? worth rubbing his ear and finding out. Definitely. I'd say. Well, I'll come over there in a minute, Ethan. Yeah. Uh, so, so we checked up on his mental state. What about your physical state? Are you eating well? Yeah, you said you were going to the gym and you were eating a lot better and all that. You uh, that stopped. Right, he's back on Fuck the booze. Fuck you now. Back on the booze, boy. Uh, no, back on not the booze, boy. Not, not back, back sipping the booze, are you, boy? No, but I'm Sipping on... Sipping back in the boozer, are you, boy? Soup now. <laughs> soup. soup. Soup now. Soup now. So it's like he's talking to his carer. Soup now. Soup now. Would you, you, like to, do you want some beer, Ethan? Soup now. All you're eating is soup. Well, for the last three days, I've had... Uh, I got a big loaf of bread. Oh, yeah. Um, it was reduced to big triple cheese bread. What's that? Oh, mean? just from Tesco. It's called the Triple Cheese Bloomer. And um, <laughs> a big old loaf of that. I take off a few cuts of it. For, for what? It's like, the, it's what like, like being ta- the fucking blitz. What do you mean you it? take off a few cuts of it? What do you mean? Well, you having a slice of bread? He's that- talking about slices. A few cuts. What do you mean I take off a few cuts of it? Oh like, my what God. do you mean you take off a few cuts? And slice of bread. I put a bit of. Melted cheddar cheese on that. Oh, sorry, spreadable cheddar cheese. What? What? Spreadable cheese. Spreadable cheese. cheese what? On, spreadable uh, cheese. Hold on. This, 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 this Not bread. Like Philadelphia. Is, this bread is called. What's Tri- it called? Triple cheese bloomer. So you're putting four <laughs> quadruple cheese. This is quadruple oh, cheese. All dipped in it to a lovely broccoli stilton. And I've never, oh, I've five. never heard of spreadable cheddar What's cheese. What's spreadable cheddar? Oh, it's a bit like Philadelphia, but cheddar. 
Oh, never heard of Fuck it. Fucking hell. So you've got you've got a big hunk of bread <laughs> with four different cheeses on it. Yeah. Now what are you doing? Well, I, I listened to um, the other day what um, Adam McCool are in doing a show with Joe, uh, watching the United match, and he had a conversation about baked beans together. And Adam said, oh, I could never just have normal beans. I put in chopped tomatoes and chopped onions. So I thought I'd try that. So I had chopped onions, chopped beans. And I also, this was day chopped four ago. So this was another day of the ch- triple cheese bloomer. Um, <laughs> so I had, I had that. Also, we said it was reduced, which usually means it's got about 24 yeah, so hours left in it. Still just put in it in the rock hard. Fucking mouldy bread. No, I just put it in the fridge, it's all right. And then, right, and then I had it and I came to work. And obviously I'm lactose intolerant. And the other thing that I remembered that I stayed away from for so long was beans. I can't. What, what sort of be, lactose? Ah, oh, beans just blow yeah. me up. I can't walk after beans. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? That is a crazy. I can't statement. walk after you beans. You can't walk after beans. And I also forgot. Just move straight on. I've gone a few like months as well without onion and I put beans and onion together. I beans, just onion and cheese. He's allergic to lactose, beans and onion. He's <laughs> literally... It's, uh, You've created this your meal, death meal. This meal, Ethan, is, is almost qualifying as an attempted suicide. Oh, That's how fucking stupid this it meal was is. It was awful. I was I was sat at work the other day and I had to lean my chair back because I couldn't sit up straight. Well, because your belly? Because my belly. Oh. And, and so the, what have you yeah. done with the bloomer then? Or uh, I've still got a bit of the crust left on the triple cheese bloomer. So you carried on eating the oh bloomer, did you? God. Oh, yeah, I carried on eating the bloomer. I don't, I don't think it was so much the bloomer and the reflection. I think it was more the onion and the beans. Because when I had the triple cheese bloomer <laughs> with... <laughs> Give it its full name every time. With, with, the, uh, with the soup. What soup was it? Or... It's it's the one from Tesco Express, I think. Oh, oh, the one from Tesco Express, of course. Because every supermarket just does one soup, don't they? Taste it now. Yeah, so there's the Waitrose soup, the Tesco Express soup, the Aldi soup. Yeah, okay, say no more. What what colour is it? It's um, (laughs) grey. What is it, mushroom? It must be mushroom. Uh, mushroom. If it's tomato, I'd send it back. (laughs) It's (laughs) grey. Sounds like the worst meal going there. <laughs> Grey soup. Is that Oliver Twist? It was, um... It Grey! Was, it was chestnut and chicken. Fucking Fuck hell. off. Who's chestnut and chicken? <laughs> what the fuck's this soup? Who's got... What? Chestnut and chicken? What the colour was the what soup? What a crazy combination. Grey. Tesco's are selling this on purpose. Yeah, it's £3.30. £3.30. <gasps> what do you mean? Is it, com- is it one of them that comes in a carton and it's a bit fresher? Ah, oh, it's fresh. It's not tinned. Well, I thought it'd get a bit of, um... <laughs> sorry. sorry, sorry. Say a word, sorry, man! Sorry, sorry, sorry. How many servings are you getting out of this £3? Oh, just one. For so, £3.70? £3.30. That's, That's a lot, lot for that. one portion of soup. I suppose it's full of chestnuts and chicken. So, it? I would have said... Mm. I, I'm, it called me crazy. I would have probably, on the savings, maybe, bought a fresher loaf of bread and a cheaper finger soup. I can see that. Rather than buying a three pound thirty finger soup and bread that's going off. No, but if you think about it, the, the triple cheese bloomer I think was like <laughs> seventy five pence. <laughs> it was seventy five pence. Yeah. And then just with the soup on top, of that it's maybe like <laughs> <laughs> it's like twenty pence, twenty pence for each like few slices of the bloomer. And then, and then the soup set. It's only like three fifty a meal, which is like oh, so right, like, like a meal deal, isn't it? Also, why the fuck did you pick chicken and chestnut? I've never even heard of that. Oh well, the chicken reminded me of the chicken you get in um, mm. the chicken and sweet corn soup. <laughs> Why is this story sending me insane? <laughs> Why didn't you just buy chicken and sweet corn soup? They didn't do it, they didn't do it. <laughs> I, that's, I like Hang that. Hang on a sec, you go to the person, excuse me pal, is this the same chicken you put in your chicken and sweet corn soup? Have you just pulled the strands out and oh, dropped it into this one? Well, I suppose that. it's the same bird. Why I, Jesus. man? Jesus. That texture in it. Oh, you're canny, man. So you, are you happy? I'm content. I do, I, 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 I'm trying to stay away from my phone. I, I'm, I'm like... But the thing is, I, I never really message people. So it's more so I just get stuck on, like, looking for things and whatever. Social media and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Right. 
Are you ready for what we're calling Hell yeah. in December, only for December only, Joe's Christmas Bonanza. Someone make a jingle, that would be brilliant. Jing, 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 jingle. Joe's dudes. Christmas Bonanza. So these are going to be throughout the uh, month of December, you versus Ethan. Well, it's like a Christmas Bonanza, as we're calling it. Right. Uh, Could so you give any more information other than just saying the words Christmas Bonanza over and over They're going to be again. different themes to different quiz questions quiz questions and great these quiz questions are ones that I may have used in a pub quiz last year Woo. but I stumbled upon it when I'm doing research Reuse, for this recycle um, this is one of the um, rounds I like to call Christmas number ones very Ooh. nice I am going to be reading out lyrics to a Christmas number one if you know it you shout your name out okay then you've got for five seconds to guess. Right. So as soon as you shout, you've got to know what you're shouting at Are me. Are we giving artist, artist or song? and title, please. Artist and title, wow. Yeah. If you fail, you're out, and the other person gets to hear Ooh. more of the it's lyrics. Christmas Eve will be frozen out. <clears throat> Are you ready, Ethan? Uh, yeah. Uh, can you practice your buzzer? Meh. <laughs> no, you said you said oh, your name. name. Ethan. Practice yours? Meh. <laughs> okay. You can say your name, please. Um, Wait, Joe. You got this, yeah? Joe. Good luck, everyone. Joe. What? Just test my buzzer out. Oh, right, yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ethan, right, I think they've been rewired. Right, stop. Because we've got to get through these. Three. So. Do you know we've come too far now? Just to go. Joe. And jo uh, stay another day. Bye. See, this is the problem. Ah, you got to know like, it! It's like A1 or Five, something. Five, four, no, three. Two, one. Eh, uh. Ethan, if you're trying to hide the fact that you're Googling, stay another day, you're, you're disqualified. Minus one point. I'm not Googling. You are. You're disqualified. Don't, don't stay there. Stay there. He's clicked off it. He's clicked off it. He's clicked off it. He's clicked, he's clicked not, off it. He's clicked <laughs> off it. I've not done anything. You've clicked off it. I can tell. Go See? history. Dirty bastard. Nothing. Stay and or the. He was Googling it! I wasn't. It was. I wasn't. I was just pressing Control Z to go back and it was bringing all the letters uh, back up. I don't know what you are. Yeah, right. he's. Point for that. One point for Joe. I, I didn't Google it though. No, you were typing it in. Yeah. No more keyboard warriors over there. 1 0 to Joe. Unbelievable. This is a good one. This is that. a good one. This, this is a good one. You ready? Christmas Bonanza. Time for parties and celebration. Joe. Cliff Richard. Go on. Merry Christmas, everyone. Eh, uh, <laughs> what you got? You're so close. Ethan, do you know it? Is that the one that goes with logs on the fire? And Go on, what's your you guess? Got five seconds. Oh, I've got it. Five. Bells are ringing out for Christmas. Four. Time. Yeah. It's eh, uh. Do you want to have another go? Is it Shaking Stevens? It's Shaking Stevens. Uh, you got it. I tell you what, no, one point, one point. Um, I only got one point for the first one. Okay, you're still on one nil. Okay, one nil. Christmas number ones, these. Remember Christmas number <laughs> ones. When we're going to get lad baby in there. Some of these that... <clears throat> some of those that work forces are the same that burn crosses. Some uh, of those Joe. that work forces... That'll be uh, killing the name of by... You're so good. Come on, you got this. You know you Rage Against the Machine. Rage Against the <clears throat> Machine, yes! I love on, it. Ethan. I don't know any of these. You know Christmas songs. No, don't I don't know any Christmas songs. You don't know songs. I don't. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Come on. Right, well, this one is the Christmas number ones as well, so you might know this one because it's not like a classic Christmas song. Scoop, Muck and Dizzy, and Roly too. Oh, Lofty uh, and Ethan. Wendy join the crypt. What? Uh, Bob the Builder. Yeah, with the song? Uh, can we fix it? Oh, one point! Well right, two, one. Oh, that's good, that. <coughs> Bob and the gang have so much fun working together to get the job done. I've got two more. Okay. And it's two, one. What are you doing over there? Oh, sorry. I, I found a little chocolate on the floor. How little is it? <laughs> Let's have a look. Show it. A little chocolate. Right, cheers <laughs> for paying attention. You can't just eat chocolate halfway through the... You don't see it on Mastermind. Ready? Both in play. 2-1. I heard there was a secret chord that David Joe. played. Hallelujah. Leona Lewis. Oh. <laughs> no! Can he steal it? Come on. He's on the right lines, Ethan. Uh, Ethan. 
Yeah. Um, I know Lionel has to do a rendition of it, he's right. No, 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 he's not. He he's is. Not. He's not. It's someone in that ballpark, though. I know it is. No, he's, he's right. He's not. I've got the answer in front of me. I, I don't know how I can explain this. Leona Lewis didn't do Hallelujah. But someone else Stop from X Factor did. He's day. right. Someone else. Oh, from... well, Stacey Sullivan. Oh, you're out. Fuck off. Alexandra Burke. Alexandra Burke. Ah, oh, it's too uh, late. He's right. He's right. <laughs> he's right. He there he is. Yeah, there he is. Yeah. So this is the last Great. one. What's the score? 3 2, and it's the last one. 3 2. So this takes it to a tiebreaker if Ethan wins. This is a Christmas number one. This is all you're gonna get. The problem with Hallelujah is it's been about forty people have sang it. Those Christmas number ones. No, you have to get, I need to. <coughs> what is? So that's I said I have to. I have to take the thing. Is no, this? No, no, the, no. What? What are you saying? I take first answer. Right. Okay. Is this the real life? Joe. Ethan. Oh. Go on. Bohemian Rhapsody Queen. Oh, he's done oh. it! Oh. Christmas number one back in the day. Da, 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 Should we eat? Yes. Right, Joe, I'm bloody starving, oh, mate. Oh, mama. And the 9 out of 10 club is here, which is a club where we try and put yeah. different food items, different food, uh, me like meals, anything really. Could mm -hmm. even be drinks. We haven't done drinks in a while. If, if you can put it down your throat, it can go in the 9 out of 10 club. Oof. Oof. Oh, well, that's God. why I've got a 9 out of 10. What? Yours is a one out of ten. Anyway, so I, I've got to say, <laughs> Go on then. when I stumbled, I, I was thinking about what to get today, and I've seen this item being advertised on billboards, on buses, and on mm. billboards, and it looks... Is it a, a missing person? No, it's not a missing person. Right, thank God for it that. It looks... <laughs> that'd be unbelievable, wouldn't it? Because they get advertised all over the place. They do. It's always the same geezer as well with the glasses. Yeah, that about, it's about sad, 11 years old. Sad, that. It is sad, isn't it? To be fair, though... If you know where he is... Get in touch. But he doesn't look like that anymore, so he could just be prime minister by now, and no one would even know. Mm -hmm, true. Horrible that. Uh, horrible. Um, but it's not that. I think you have to be. Don't you have to be over a certain age in the UK to be prime minister. I thought you were going to say to be a, to be a missing person. No. Uh, 30, no, thirty five is America, isn't it? Right. You can't be the president until you're thirty five. Yeah, well, that's why they're never going to get the sort of Julian Nagelsmann of prime ministers, is it? <laughs> you know, someone whose who's career ended early. So they've just gone straight to being Prime Minister? No idea who Julian Nagelsmann is. Julian Nagelsmann was the former manager of Bayern Munich and he got the RB Leipzig job when he was like 30. <sighs> that was niche. I suppose it's not niche. Not that um, niche. He managed, oh, I don't know, the third best team in the world. Eh, what's your rankings He's also there? the current manager of Germany. What's your rankings there? Uh, uh, Man City, Real Madrid, Bayern Munich. I would say. I don't think. I mean, you can argue it, but it's not radical, is it? It's a Christmas item, only available until the first of January. So you better get it whilst it's hot. Mm. Hopefully, we have. And I've got to say, out of all, sometimes Christmas items look shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you look the same old, same old. But I saw yeah. this one when they're like, "Oh, we've pumped a, a cow full of mince meat and just sliced the whole thing in half." Oof. Yeah, I saw this one. I thought this looks a bit of us. Mm. What do we need to do? Try it. Yeah, all right. And it is the KFC Christmas stuffing sandwich in all of its glory. It's got two beautiful pieces of chicken on it, and then a bit of stuffing and gravy. A gravy, I pres presume. What have we got? Gravy, I presume. So yeah. here it is. Oof, it's got a big box to it. Big box to it. So. Did you go single or double? Oof, Christ. So we've got there, you can see Oof. the chicken, the cheese. This is like a stuffing puck. Oh, like, that looks um, crazy. Like some sort of, from an ice hockey. That doesn't look too great, that does it actually? And then it's got a sort of a, a thin cranberry sort of topping on it. Right, let's uh, scroll and over it. Some, look. I, I bought gravy. You bought extra side. gravy, just smother it a bit. There's I no say. extra gravy because it doesn't have gravy on it, so it's just gravy 1.0. You don't get gravy with it? I don't think so. Don't Is that not gravy it. there? No, that's cranberry sauce. I just said cranberry that. Cranberry sauce? Why are you incredulous <laughs> at fucking cranberry sauce? It's on every Christmas I thought the dinner. gravy would be somewhere. I thought you'd, you'd well, have last, to buy your own gravy. Last year's KFC Christmas offering was a very gravy-based boy, wasn't it? Can I suggest? Can I say something to the um, to the sandwich makers of the world? If you're going to do a Christmas sandwich, just skip the lettuce. Yeah. Because what's the point? Although I, when I make a leftover sandwich, I put lettuce on it the next day. Really? You can't just dismantle it. Well, we're we all going to eat now. I hate when Joe does this. Okay. Le left us for ruin. Wow. Oh. Bloody Ethan, you're going to be fuming here. You know what? I'm going to pass. Hey, you know what? <laughs> They've done all right with that. They've done all right with that, Joe. Really? Yeah, get some of the stuffing and the cranberry and the gravy all at once. 
Look at that. They've done all right with that. It tastes mm. like. Very knocking. What's that? Fruit shoot. Well, I've got a fruit shoot. Ethan's favourite. Ethan, Ethan, come on, Ethan, have a bit. Around? You legally have to. Come on, there's only a bit on the side there. There's, there's a whole like three quarters that no one's touched. Yeah. I'm going to start. That's delicious, that is. That I tastes, do enjoy the that stuffing. That tastes like the stuffing's good. It's, it's quite a soft stuffing, but it's got an outer sort of crust on it. But I think it tastes quite fresh. Any sort of cranberry sauce is always good. Um, well, for me, that's really, really nice. Obviously, 9 out of 10 is a very exclusive club, but well, yeah. it's really good, that. And the bun is different to a normal KFC bun shoot. as well. Cheers. The bun is different to a normal KFC. This is unbearable, Ethan. Sort it out, man. Take a bite. Why are you spinning Just it? Just take a bite. Don't want to take a bite with the lettuce We've, on none it None of either. us have got any, any known transmittable illness. Get a good There's bite with the there. stuffing on it. Yeah, yes, you dirty man. bastard. There you go, right. Good lad. Good lamb. Let's Did put this down. Did you get a bit of gravy on it? What are you doing, lad? What are you like for? What do you think of that, Joe? So I closed my eyes and I thought of Christmas. I closed my eyes. And I've got to say, essentially, it's a good piece of KFC filled with chicken. The stuffing's interesting. It doesn't look great, the stuffing. The stuffing looks bad. It looks bad. Like, it looks like, like you say, an ice puck. Like, it yep. looks like ice hockey puck. Like, you, look, you could have a couple of games with that on the ice. Um, the cranberry does, a, 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 you know, the combination flavours yeah. of cranberry, stuffing, gravy, yeah. and some sort of crispy chicken. Can you go wrong, really? We can't. That's the thing. It's very well trodden ground. This isn't it. It is your quintessential leftover sandwich, but with a KFC edge on it. You know, it's it's chicken or turkey. Same. They taste the same. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Lettuce, gravy, stuffing, cranberry sauce. That's literally what you would make at home, and it's one of the best sandwiches. But yeah. this has got your twelve secret yeah. herbs and spices there. I think they're delicious. I think it's fantastic. It's a, genuinely it's a, it's fantastic. A good, it's a good sandwich. I think it's 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 probably the best sandwich you can currently get from KFC. The lettuce is doing my head in. Is it? It really is. Come on, you're having a little dirty sandwich. I would get put lettuce on it at home. No, though. no. Would you really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're making a leftover sandwich, right? Yeah. For Christmas, Boxing Day, whatever. You're fully nude. Mm -hmm. um, you're in your kitchen. You, you know, whams on. And yeah. you're like, right, I've got my turkey. So I've got a wham on. <laughs> no, nah, you, you can call it whatever you want. You call it, call it whatever you want. Oh, we should do for merch. And we got merch out. Yeah. Nine out of ten boxes now. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. That. Right, write that Open down. for the nine out of ten club. That's good. Uh, you're fully erect. No, you know, you're fully nude. Yeah. You can be erect if you want. You've got turkey, you've got your stuff, you got gravy. Yeah. Are you looking for lettuce? Yes. I would put lettuce on that every single time. <gasps> It'd, yeah, I would. I would do, yeah. Wouldn't you? Would you, Ethan? Would you put lettuce on a leftover Soggy sandwich? lettuce with some gravy on it. Oh, I'd, I'd personally opt for um, harder lettuce. What? Like crisper what are you lettuce. About? You say hard, You've lost your head. Hard lettuce, what's that? Crisp, crisper lettuce. Crisper, crisper lettuce, lettuce than what? Crunchy lettuce, iceberg. That's what I would opt for. <laughs> oh, crispier than what's in this sandwich now? Yes, right. yes. Yeah, because this is a sort of romaine lettuce, I would guess. The remain, mm -hmm. not leave lettuce, hey? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> leave, leave, lettuce lettuce. leave lettuce alone. Leave lettuce alone. Is it 9 out of 10? Hmm. I think there is better Christmas butties out there. Where from? Where from? Stop eating it! I... Right, oh, this is... Joe, I was like to you, let's all have some of his savoury for the 9 out of 10 club today. And you were like, yeah, let's just... This is what filming last night. And now, you didn't order us all one, did he, Ethan? Which no. I would have done. Would yeah. I have done? Oh, yes, you and would I have done. And I was eating the only one that's here, and I'm starving. And I might waste away. No, not to Waste then. away. Um, I think... I, th I think one... I think let's sit down. You have to buy gravy. Mm. That's bad. I think that's bad, Ethan, because we had the... We had the pleasure of dipping it into the gravy. Good point, man. But now the gravy... Uh, not everyone's got that pleasure. Maybe you didn't know it didn't come with gravy. Yeah. But I do think the chicken and the stuffing does does some good... Does some heavy lifting. But I'm looking at it. I'm looking at an 8 out of 10 here. Yeah. It's grap gr grippling on to the side. It's nearly there, but it just falls. Oh. It falls. Oh. And dies. I have to agree with you. The it's very nice. And if you're out there, try it. But it can't go into the sort of the sacred land that is the nine out of ten club. Not quite, Not but quite. it's really good. And in terms of, you said there's other better like 
Christmas sandwiches out there. I don't know where I could get from. The Northern Soul grilled cheese but again, sandwiches. Unless good. you live in Manchester, yeah. that's not an option. So if you're just knocking around thinking, I want my a Christmas sandwich now, that's the best one I've had this w- this winter. This Definitely. Winter. Really nice. Eight out of ten, but not quite. Ethan? Uh, well, I must say, I, I, I'm not really um, hungry at the minute, so I wasn't really in the mood for it because I had, I had quite a big lunch. Um, so I'm, I'm what not. What did you have for lunch, Ethan? If mm? you, what did you? Wait have? a sec. I what swear did you have for lunch? You two. I, I will leave the show now. You've ordered one food and you're eating it all. And if you dare have had that Caribbean food, you've had that Caribbean any food for me. You are sacked. Have you, what have you had for lunch, Ethan? Oh. Just, no, um, you What did you have? You haven't had that Caribbean food. Well, I was walking past there, you see. Yeah, no, it. Again, it's not that. So I decided to just have a, a quick one. No, you didn't. You didn't actually. For people who don't know, when we film on the show, there is this tradition that Ethan gets this same dish from the same place. And it's like a Joe, Caribbean street yeah. food place around the corner. Me and Joe have been saying for weeks. Bring, bring it in for the night for, out of ten. It wasn't two months now. Bring it in. Let's all try it. You know, we don't want him to eat up. Give, us, give him the card. He can go and buy it. Because he's often Please, eating the nine out of ten club that we've brought in with the Caribbean food on the desk next to it. And we've said, next time we have it, bring it in. You haven't actually it's had a, that It's today. an independent business. It could do the shout out. If people in Manchester, they want to go great Caribbean food. But Ethan keeps it to are himself. You You're not serious, are you? You're messing about. Oh, I was quite peckish. Are you uh, fucking joking? <laughs> lunch. Are you joking? I had it for lunch. Eight, when? Oh, about like quarter past three. No, no you, you didn't, fucking didn't. You didn't even. You didn't no, you even. didn't. I text you at three o'clock saying, "Bring the food to the nine out of ten club today." We'll right. I that. said to Ethan at three o'clock before quarter past three, saying, "Ethan, can you do nine out of ten? Because he ain't done one for a bit." And we keep yeah. talking about it's the Caribbean like, food. Joe McGrath replies instantly saying, "You know what we're going to ask for?" It's suggesting the, the Caribbean, Caribbean food. Ethan replies saying, "Won't have time today. Let me think of something else." And then he said, "Advocate." You haven't had that actually. No, I, I, well, I, I took myself a surprise. As you know, Jack, it popped in a little bit earlier than I, I thought. I think he's lying. I think he's he, not. He's not he telling the truth. T- if he's telling the truth, so you I'll you sent us those messages. Would you t- like me to be honest? Yeah. I swear on my life. I'm mad at you now. Swear on your life. Swear on your life. What have you had? And the Caribbean. Food. No, you didn't. <laughs> Are you joking? Why are you doing this? You had it after he said to bring it in, and you said no, I can't. I won't have time. Well. Well, I, 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 I you surprised lied. You myself. Lied to us. You're messing, aren't you? You lied. You don't even. How do we trust are you, you anymore? I, Ethan? I know. Genuinely, are you being serious right now? I swear on my life. Why? <laughs> are you? Are you a psychopath? Oh my god! I know. You've been asking been... to bring that in for fucking six weeks. Why? What are we, you doing? We, we have a theory that it's. He's like. I don't know. It was you, too late by that point. What do you mean it was too it late was by that point? Like, they don't, said, it doesn't, they're not ah, making it to order. You're lying to yourself. You said you ordered it just then on camera about 10 past 3. Those messages at 3 o'clock, it wasn't too so, late. Drew was getting KFC then I thought, so it was too late. Are you being serious? Oh, he's winding us up. He's, he's messing got, about. He's, he's got anyway. Up. Like, we'll I have will to talk about I will literally go to it. that Caribbean place. Show me. Give the sh- a picture of you. Say, don't serve him. Right. He's a racist. Sh- show me your. Ma- show and me then your- you'll never get served there again. Show me your Monzo receipt. Yes. Your phone I, don't, I don't have Monzo. Give him a headlock. How have you boarded it? Get him in a headlock, Joe. I got it with Punch coins. Punch his head in. I got it with coins. No, you no, coins. It's listen, a cash only listen, kid. Listen, I swear of a life. Get him, Joe. Get him. I got. I've got a pot of innocent smooth, like an innocent smoothie drink at home. Should like that's empty, was... which I keep all my coins in. Did and I brought eight it's pounds out. Oh. It's You're a dickhead, you are. You are. No, 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 I imagine no, no. this is the nastiest thing you've ever done. The nastiest. He's left us out there. Oh, I don't really fancy this 9 out of 10 club because I've just eaten something that I should you know have brought in as 9 out of 10. He offered to bring in Advocat. Ridiculous. Well, else. I won't advocate for him anymore, I can tell you that much. Anyway, uh, Ethan, is it 9 out of 10? No, no, it's crap, no. Joe Would I much prefer the Caribbean no. food again? Let me tell you. I think he's winding us up. I need to go and squeeze his head. I need to squeeze his neck. he's winding really us hard, up. Really hard, like Homer Simpson. That's uh, going to be all from us. Bye. Buy merch. Buy merch, by the way. I don't even, want, merch, you, I don't even want you to wave, Ethan. Don't, don't even coming. wave. Bye, everyone. Bye. We love you. Patrons have got a brand new video out. It is all us. Uh, reviewing every single chocolate you can possibly think of that you're getting your roses tins your quality street your heroes and what have I missed out what
Roses, Quality Street. Celebrations. Oh. So all of those boxes we review very special guests. Get on Patreon.now. Patreon. Right. We've already talked We're about so this earlier in the episode. We're so angry. We're so angry. Patreon.com slash the Sloppy Joe's podcast. Bye. Bye for now. Don't you dare wave with it. You, you don't deserve in. to wave. You know what you should do? You should wave up your ass. That doesn't make sense. Uh, see you later. No. Hey! <laughs>